controlled chaos here this video is sponsored by hello fresh but we'll talk more about that later the main purpose of this video is a cooking guide how to get you cooking in no man's sky you will want to stay till the end if you are wanting to know two recipes that give you really good stats let's go ahead and let's get started first off you're wondering, well, why is there cooking in No Man's Sky? There's no hunger gauge in No Man's Sky. It's not like the other survival games out there. And there are reasons to do cooking. There are three of them, actually, for cooking. The first reason to do cooking is some of these foods give you buffs. They will buff things like your stamina so you'll be able to run longer. They will buff things like your hazardous protection so that you're not taking as much damage from the hazards on the planet, whether it be radioactive, an ice planet, or a hot planet, whatever it may be. The second reason for doing cooking is you have expeditions that no man's sky does in these expeditions sometimes not always but sometimes they will have you cook specific recipes and so knowing how to use how to make and cook in no man's sky can be helpful for doing those the third reason that i have is that there is a cook on the nexus that you can turn your cooked meals into and he will give you a reward so with that being said those are the three reasons now let's go ahead and dig into how to cook so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to need to build a base down in the description be below i have a link to a guide on how to build bases for you and once you built the base, you then fly out into space again, and it doesn't matter what solar system you're in, you just go ahead and hit X, you scroll left till you see an orb that says Nexus, then you click OK, you summon the Nexus, it'll warp in, and then you dock with it just like you do with any other space station. Once you are on the Nexus, there are ramps leading up left and ramps leading up right. It does not matter what ramp you take. For this example, we're going to take the right ramp. Now, when you're taking the right ramp, you'll walk up there and on to your left, you will see a doorway. You want to go through that doorway and then immediately turn right. Walk down the hall until you find this big open round room. Once you've walked into that big open round room, turn to your left. You will see three terminals. You want the second terminal. That is your blueprint terminal. Once you interact with the blueprint terminal, tab through until you find the area where it has your refiners and things like that for base building. In there, you will find what is called a nutrient processor you will need 10 salvaged data to get the nutrient processor so make sure you have that before you go to get the nutrient processor once you have the nutrient processor you can go back to your base when you're back at your base you want to go ahead and hit z you want to go over to the tab where you have your base computer your other refiners and stuff like that in that tab, you will have the nutrient processor. Click on it. You will need a hermetic seal, two metal plates, and another resource to build this. Once you've built the nutrient processor, you can then interact with it by hitting E. Once you've interacted with it, you will see three slots there on the left side. This is where you can put ingredients in. Here's the cool thing about crafting in No Man's Sky for cooking. It is not base, put this ingredient, put this ingredient, put this ingredient, boom, there's your meal. It doesn't work that way. It's more along the lines of put this ingredient in, refine it to this, Put this ingredient in with this ingredient, refine it to this, take this ingredient, mix it with this ingredient, refine it to this, take these ingredients, these three ingredients or two ingredients, refine it into this final product. So there is a multi-step 
process to making these recipes, which is really, really fun. You will need vegetables. You may need meat. You may need wheat and things like that. I will talk more about that when we get into the actual recipes. But overall, this is how cooking is done in No Man's Sky. Since we are talking about cooking, now's the time to talk about HelloFresh. They are a company that will deliver the food to you. It is pre-portioned and measured for you along with a recipe so all you have to do is follow the simple instructions on there and it's great with this because you're not having to worry about shopping for majority of the stuff unlike where when you're playing no man's sky when you do the cooking you have to go out and you have to get the meat you have to get the fruits and vegetables the wheat and stuff like that and do a lot to do the cooking hello fresh makes this easy you get to choose the types of meals you want to have based on what you like to eat or what kind of dietary plan you want for yourself or you are on which is really nice if you are interested in checking out hellofresh there's a link in the description down below or you can use the code on the screen on hellofresh's website to get a nice discount this is really great really amazing and it serves multiple sizes of family sizes which is nice very enjoyable now let's get back to the cooking with cooking there are some great recipes and one of the recipes i want to talk about that gives you a great bonus and buff it is called the traditional cake this traditional cake will actually give you 50 percent to hazard protection and that is really really great a lot of recipes give you like 10 percent or 20 percent or somewhere in there this gives you 50 percent in order to create this though you are going to need to make several things the first thing you need is you need to make a cake batter to make the cake batter you are going to need to make something else you're going to need to either make sweet butter or honey butter but in order to make that sweet butter or honey butter guess what you need something else you need milk you need to get milk from creatures you can harvest the milk from creatures you do that by feeding the pellets to the creatures and then you interact with them and you can get milk you can get eggs you can get honey from these creatures it depends on the type of planet you're on and the type of creature you're interacting with but so you'll milk the creature you'll have the milk you'll take the milk you'll put it in your nutrient processor that nutrient processor will then turn it into cream you take that cream you put back into the nutrient processor with either some sugar or some honey and it will make a butter for you if you put sugar in it will make sweet butter for you but in order to get the sugar you need some other things. In order to make the sugar, you either need cactus flesh, which can be turned into a paste, which then can be turned into the sugar, or you can go ahead and get what's called granberry, which can be found on radiated plants. Granberries can be turned into processed sugar. So with that processed sugar, you have that. If you don't have a processed sugar or you don't want to go out and get those ingredients, but you have honey, use the honey instead of the processed sugar. That will give you your honey butter. Once you have the honey butter, you're then going to need refined flour. Those plants that you see out there that you see are wheat flour uh, plants. Harvest those wheat plants. That will give you wheat. Take that wheat, put it in your nutrient processor, and you will get refined flour. We're not quite done yet, though. You also need an egg. A creature egg will do, a tall egg will do, or a giant egg will do. Mix those three things together. Your butter, your flour, your eggs. That will give you your cake batter. Once you have your cake batter, you will then need to make what is called a jam. And jam is that jawberry and processed sugar mixed together. So 
you mix those together, you'll get uh, Jaham Jam. With that, once you have the Jaham Jam, you can then put that together with some cream. Mix that all together and you will get a traditional cake. And that there is how you make the traditional cake. The next one I want to talk to you is called a honey soaked fancy. This is another type of consumable that's really, really good. This, you will need thick sweetened butter, synthetic honey to do this. Now, to make the thick sweetened butter, you need to make gooey butter to make gooey butter you need to do the following you need to have churned butter or bone butter and then you need to have sticky honey put those two together in your nutrients processor and you will have the gooey butter now in order to have churned butter you need to just have cream Cream will get you your churned butter. With that being said, once you've done all of that, you will then need to have, once again, refined flour. Then you will need to have creature eggs, and this will make your thick, sweet batter. Once you have your thick, sweet batter, you want to take your honey and you want to put in the processor by itself. This will give you synthetic honey. You want to take that synthetic honey and then your thick sweet batter, put them in your nutrients processor, process it up. This will give you your honey soaked fancy. If you're wanting more ingredients, you can check out the No Man's Sky Wiki. They have a bunch there. If you'd like me to do more guides on different cooking recipes to do, comment down below. Let me know. Other than that, thank you for watching and have a great day.